Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new Leagues video. If you guys missed any of the previous uploads, as always, links will be in the description. You can watch it from episode number one. However, in our last episode, we ended up completing Bandos. We ended up obtaining Bofa, which is basically the best weapon in the game for us at the moment. And in this video, we're just gonna continue on with the God Wars. We're gonna start off with Armadil and then probably move on to Ziliana. And honestly, I'm not quite sure what else we're gonna do. But that being said, I do hope you guys will enjoy today today's video let's get into it first kill of armadil let's see how this goes same as bandos get smacked around and just kill it yeah that's honestly not too bad that's pretty decent and there we go defeat kriara task oh you seen that's a good drop i forgot that this was a thing but watch the birdie i can go ahead and unlock that that's gonna give me an ability to take aviances as my task obviously i have dag enough still but i'm just gonna cancel it and we're just gonna assign ourselves some aviances right here 149 and because i just teleported here after i teleported here i can just go right back and use our black mask imbued for some extra accuracy <gasps> There we go, the first drop on kill count uh, 12. It's the most useless one. It's the arm helmet, but we'll take the drop. Thank you, game. Is there a task to equip it? There is. Equip a piece of armadil, one to five. I'll take that. Ooh, I finally have ranging potions. I'll take those. Shit, I'll even use those. That is useful. Really? It is an absolute disaster. Wait, how do I get my shit back? Okay, let's see. If I enter this... Okay, so I think I can sacrifice an item here. Can I sacrifice my bando stasets? 20 miller. That's fine, right? I mean, we have two pairs. This should basically pay for any death costs in this league that I will ever have. Okay, yeah, actually, maybe I don't. Then maybe I just keep it. So if I bang this, will he take it from my bank? Why would you give me carambo ones, my guy? I don't want no carambo ones. Okay. Let's not collect Karam ones. Give me that. Okay, well, yeah, I don't know. This place is weird. Okay, so no more PVMing for a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and thieve elves. So when it comes to thieving, I'm only using smooth criminal and deeper pockets. Therefore, if I want to level up any of the other stuff like living on a prayer, for example, this is like the best way to do it. And I'm just looking basically which ones don't have maximum XP yet. And those are the ones I'm using. So that way I'm thieving and at the same time I'm leveling all these other relics. There is 95 thieving and I'm already drive for the little teleport charge so hopefully i get them soon 96 still no seeds holy shit they exist all right there we go uh, enhanced crystal teleport seed would you look at that so i think the play is to keep one or enchant one rather should i say and then you sell the others for a ton of shards because let's be honest we'll need those shards okay let's see let's see let's see i think i trade this dude yeah there we go you see i trade three for those for 450 crystals let's go ahead and actually make this a a teleport you know i, I need to look it up i'm not sure how to do it oh i think it's gonna be here in the singing bowl creating an eternal teleport crystal yeah look at that that is beautiful nice i can teleport to letia and i can teleport to priff nice that's sick all right awesome i'm happy to have that that's really good well there it is another 99 on the account 99 strength while afking on some ammonite crabs collecting some fossils and whatnot probably gonna stay here for a couple of attack levels and then i think we're just gonna go back to armadil when i feel like it slightly inconvenient timing but uh I died, and then I went to reclaim my items, and I died again. I got him. The four blood shards, I can put these onto the fury to get a shit ton of points, basically. There's 74 agility, but most importantly, that's basically 82, meaning I can do the next floor in Sepulchre. I don't know how long it takes for this to update. Hey, there it is. I alked all of my corrupted gauntlet drops and bandos drops and whatnot. And we're left off with 4.5 million. That is 98 wood cutting. Hey, there it is. 99 wood cutting. Thank you very much. Here's 25 million cooking XP. Nice. Just made 50 prayer potions. 88 mining. It's time to do a little bit of PVMing now. <gasps> nah, nah, you're trolling. You're, you're trolling. No, two. I got two. Two helmets. It is an absolute disaster. Kriara adept. Oh, that's a 50 kill count. Bro, I thought I got a pet or something with a pop-up and shit. That's unfortunate. We'll take it though. And that will be a God Sword Charted 1. Finally see something in 74 kill count. Um, well, I guess I did see two armor helms. Maybe I'm just greedy. Uh, but yeah, let's keep it going. I, I, I don't really have use for this anymore though. Because I already have the full blade. <gasps> Come on now. Come on now. This could be huge. This could be the one that we need. Wait for it. Wait, wait, wait. If this is the Slayer one. Okay, 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 okay. This could be huge. No, but we do get Zamoraki on site. So once again, not the one I wanted, but when wearing full Zami items, you have 50% increased magic accuracy. I would need four pieces and I would get 250 increase. I mean, I could just grab like the cheap monk, uh, monk top, monk legs. Those, those would be three. 
Staff of the Dead would be another one, that would be 4. So I feel like this would be pretty easy to reach, and this would be insane. 250% increased magic accuracy. We'll definitely be testing that in the future. Oh, yes. Look at it. It's beautiful. It's absolutely marvelous. Look at the shine, man. We take those. That's huge. That's huge. Let's wear it. God damn. Nice. Legs to go and AGS to go. Beautiful stuff. That's a massive upgrade straight away. Come on, game. Hook me up with a nice old Arma Hilt right now. I don't know if I want Arma Hilt or if I'd be happy if I just got it, uh, legs and move on. If I got legs, I'm not gonna stay for uh, Hilt right now. I'll, I'll come back to it later. But if I get Hilt first, it's a pretty good thing. Or I can get a God Sword Shard 1 again, which uh, doesn't really do much for me, but we'll add it to the collection. Oh, it's an absolute disaster. It is a ruined sword. No, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. I think that's the second rune sword from our God Wars grind so far. Oh my... How did I even die? Oh, it's an absolute disaster. Okay, I'm gonna utilize this moment since we just died and my memories got reset to quickly do a run of Sepulchre because I can do a deeper floor now with 82 agility. And uh, yeah, should take me a moment, but should give me a bunch of points. I don't know if I can go deeper here, but... Oh yeah, I can't. So the boost actually doesn't work. That is unfortunate. I still think I get a task though for the floor three. I will take only 50 points, unfortunate. <gasps> no, no. I thought it looked, it was fine, it was great. Ah, but there it is, another one. Damn it, not quite, not quite, but pretty good, but not quite. Just need the, the, the legs and AGS. Let's keep it going. God Sword Shard 1 again. That's the third one, I swear, that's the third God Sword Shard 1. I always get like a God Sword Shard and an item, and then nothing for like a lot of kills, and then it repeats. But yeah, the third one. Damn. <gasps> yes! There we go, there we go, let's go! We got it, this is huge, this is huge, get out of here. Nice, okay, so didn't get AGS, but 131 kills, and we got full armadil, which is amazing. I did promise that I am going to finish the task, so I'm gonna go back, do 24 more aviances. Yes, it's gonna take me a little bit of time, but that is perfectly fine. I do believe if I go ahead and equip all the pieces, it's a big one. 250 point task. Quick little change of plan. I know I said I was going to do this for 23 more kills, but I want to do Ziliana for an Armadil crossbow, and I can't really take a Ziliana task anyways. Uh, but if I do manage to get it, I'll be able to use an Armadillian decree with four Armadil items, and that can be huge for the future. You gotta subscribe if you never knew this item existed in the game. Adamant fire error. What the fuck is that? Ladies and gentlemen, we are now entering the Sarah Dome in a room, and the idea is gonna be pretty much the same however look at the update another maintenance the servers are going to be offline but this one should be basically as relaxing as bandos i think so just shoot the Ziliana, take some damage, heal a little bit, teleport out, repeat. And uh, we need Armadil Crossbow from here. Everything else is just a bonus. There we go, some rune darts and the very first task completed. In order to make it very quick, we TP out. Boom, immediately TP back in. Just like so. And we go right back in there. And we're gonna be doing this for a while today. Come on, ACB right here, right before the update. <gasps> Sarasort will take it right before the update. Boom, 30 seconds to go. Equip it. It's beautiful. One to five. Thank you, game. Another fragment. This could actually be the one. This could actually be the one. Come on. Every single time I've gotten fragments from this tier three bosses, I always got a unique one. Never just an XP. So can this continue? No, it can't. I jinxed it, didn't I? But there it is. Bandosian Might experience in that one. Pretty nice. 50 kill count on the good old Ziliana. We are now Commander Ziliana Adept. And, uh, well, we are still going. And I'm running out of Karambuads. 87 kill count and we get a God Sword Shard 2. Okay, at least I see something. It's been very boring. <laughs> I'm not seeing a single drop. So, yep, 87. We're gonna keep it going for a little bit longer. That is 100 Ziliana kill count. And I could keep going and honestly, I might. But right now, I'm kind of in the mood to do some clue scrolls. And you may be wondering, yo, listen, why would you? be doing clue scrolls right now you should be doing god wars or whatever well i have all the bandos pieces right if we take a look into my bank i have every single bandos piece possible and there is this fragment called bandosian might so basically when wearing four bandos items my max melee hit is increased relative to my attack speed one damage per attack speed so think of it like Basically, I wear four four pieces and I hit hard. Now, if I want to use full bandos, that is three pieces. And obviously, you're not going to be using a bandos godsword as your main weapon. So, with three pieces, I want to get one more bandos item from a clue scroll. Uh, the best option would be a war blessing. But an optional options would also be a bandos miter, a bandos cloak, or a bandos book. But book 
necessarily would be like the worst option. So, because I've done a bunch of skilling, I have a bunch of 99s. I also have 34 medium clue scrolls available. Never expected to get a production fragment making a stash unit, but I'll take it. Plank stretcher, well look at that, it's a new one. Well there it is, it saves planks when you're training construction. Wow, look at this, it might actually be worth pushing for this level 3. It saves 50% of the planks, that is actually really a lot. Whilst I'm in current, I'm gonna pay uh, 80k in order to unlock this ferry ring. It's gonna be very, very useful. And also, I decided every 5 medium seems like a reasonable amount to start opening the caskets. Because the drop rate is increased by 3, I'm only doing it until I get my bandos item. And who knows, maybe we land on some ranger boots as well. Alright, then let's take a look. So, war blessing is the priority. Uh, and this is an honorable blessing. Blessing, not quite the one we wanted. Uh, the next one is some Lunar Isle teleports with some purple sweets. Moving on to bad. Moving on to holy sandals. That's the first rare, technically. Could have been ranger boots. Oh my, and there is a bunch of uniques and a bunch of points. We'll take it. Equipping the holy sandals is nothing, but it is a very nice prayer bonus, actually, on these. Now I need to find a way to throw all of these in my bank. Okay, well, we'll take that. That's pretty solid. We got ourselves five more. Let's hope for some ranger boots or ban those items. Come on, let's go. Nice, more uniques. That's basically double unique for more points. Very cool. Another pair of boots. Just unfortunately not the right ones. Next one is another unique. And the next one is... What the hell is this? Three, four uniques in one clue scroll. Green dehyde chaps, cabbage shield, everything. You name it. It's there. And leprechaun cat with another unique. So a ton of uniques from this opening. Another pair of boots. But no bandos item. I noticed that a couple of my skills are very, very low. So I want to train my room crafting up. This should be extremely satisfying, I think. Very laggy world though, but room crafting is, well, it's damn satisfying when you do it this way. So we're starting on 56. Uh, I don't think I should be using the pouches because it's just going to make things annoying. So I can just go Castle Wars, figure out a way to just deposit everything, grab all my essence, and then just go back. And then I click Castle Wars, quickly bank, repeat. Oh, this is gonna be sick. This is gonna be fast. Okay, I'm gonna enjoy this. And that's the fragment. This could be a new rune crafting one. And it was Rooty Tooty 2x Runes. They really uh, were creative with those names. Every single time a rune is crafted, there is a small percent chance that it gets doubled. And when it's level 3, it's 80% chance. So not small chance at all at that point. That is 60 rune crafting already done. Up to 65. And I'm already decided I will do this for this entirety of the delay essence. As soon as I'm out of those, I will move on to something else. Make that 70 rune crafting, completely out of essences, and I got to 72 rune crafting. So, honestly, pretty solid session. New personal best, 528. Um, I didn't even go for a speedrun, and that felt really nice. Okay, uh, minus... Oh! I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> I just thought I got something good. But it was my eternal teleport crystal from before. Alright, let's just do a couple more. Lag is insane right now, so no way for a speedrun, I swear. Um, nice amount of shards, some arrows. Let's do another one. Come on, seed. Not quite. We do get a chain body and some blood runes and some dragon arrows, which might actually come in handy if we ever get a Tebow. <gasps> no! 502! Oh, I'm so close. You're kidding me if that one last hit actually hit. Okay, but that's really good. Like, I went from not knowing how to do Corrupted to doing them in five minutes, which is really, really good. Uh, we get a 125k and some Eddy arrows. Honestly, not bad. Do I get a kill here or what happens? <laughs> it's a fucking disaster, man. I was on such a good pace. I don't even know why I got hit there. Ah, I'm trolling. That was it. I was on three minutes there. I didn't get the hits there in the end. Uh, 507 again. So close, but so far away. If any of the last three hits hit, I get the I get the task completion. I'm not giving up until I get it. And this time I get the room pickaxe, room plate body, some shards, sapphires, really good loot, but I really want that time. <laughs> Whatever, I'm gonna get a seed here, it's fine. Ah, uh, okay, well, it's fine. Honestly, it is a little bit upsetting that I'm getting like four, five fourteens, five zero twos, five zero sevens, and I'm so close, and my guy is noodling. Come on, that's it, that's it, that's it, I did it, I did it, I did it. I did it. 448. 250 points. Nice. 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 For someone that went from never doing Corrupted Gauntlet 
to now being able to do it in 448 I think this is a very nice place to end the video. Oh man, I'm happy. I'm so satisfied right now. Ended up getting nothing from these, but I mean, this is all crafting XP eventually down the road. Yes, man, I'm actually really happy. I'm, uh, I have a smile. I genuinely thought this is not something I would ever be able to do. I'm surprised I managed to pretty much nail it in 23 kill count. Obviously, in this 23 kill count, I wasn't necessarily going for a speedrun in all of them. But yeah, I mean, I guess relics help and obviously... It's not as hard as I thought it would be. So yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. I am extremely happy I uh, finished this task. And I'll see you again either tomorrow or after tomorrow for another upload. There is a chance where I start doing uploads every other day now. Because obviously the early game content is much faster than the late game content. But anyways, thanks for all the love. Thanks for all the support on all of the videos. And I'll see you again very soon with another one. Have a good one and bye-bye.